Hey there, Project Diva fans! DA Sonic Fan here with a quick Project Diva X update. Now, before I get right into the update, I want to mention one thing about a uh, recent thing that I've seen going around online. So, uh, there's been an image about uh, Miku and Mary Rose from the Dead or Alive series uh, together in a picture on a beach. And people have been thinking that that's uh, going to be like, you know, a crossover DLC or something like that. I'd like to I'd like to denounce that right here and now since it's just it's more of a promotional thing. There has been no mention of any crossovers of the sorts that I've or at least none that I've known of. The only reason they did that was because Project Diva X and Dead or Alive Extreme 3 came out around the same time and also are both for the Vita. So they had a little collaboration and decided to promote both games. And with that, let's get right back to the update. So other than what I said before, nothing much to talk about. Project Diva X finally released overseas on the PlayStation Vita in Japan. But on that same day, Sega decided to let us know that Project Diva X for the PlayStation 4 isn't dead. And it's still got news coming on. So, in this new update that Sega uh, started announcing, or released, for Project Diva X, we've got new information on the graphical enhancement and enhancements, or should I say, upgrades for Project Diva X's PS4 version. Now, in this update, there wasn't any uh, any news about when the game would release. It's still slated to come out around fall of this year, so cross your fingers for that news to come by sometime soon. Anyways, uh, in Project Diva X's PS4 version, we're gonna have a output of 1080p and 60 frames per second, and that's already really good since it'll help with, you know, precise timing in the button presses for the rhythm portion of the game. And it's also pretty good since apparently people complain about how 30, uh, 30 frames per second isn't good enough for this kind of game. Uh, to me, I don't really see it, but I probably will once I get the PlayStation 4 version. Next, they also talked about how they're going to be improving the graphics of the game. Things such as like skin textures, shadows, lighting, background scenery, all that kind of stuff. Also things like uh, curvature. Uh, and by curvature, I, they mean anything that's, you know, round or, you know, curving. Like, I guess, breasts. <laughs> They'll look rounder. <laughs> and speaking of the, the lighting and stuff like that, they also... They, the screens in the in the link 